Hello, pre-calc uh, classes. This is Mr. McAllen. I'm back again, and we're going to be working on another version of the lake problem where the balloon is flying overhead. And um, on this problem, I want to um, it, well, I want to read the problem first. It says a balloon is flying west of a lake, and it sights the nearest edge of the lake to be a 30-degree angle of depression. The balloonist then measures uh, the far edge of the lake to be 25-degree angle of depression. So it tells, it says if the balloon is flying at an altitude of 2,500 feet, how wide is the lake? So um, the balloon is flying to the west. So, uh, so here would be the balloon flying overhead. Here's the little basket. It's a big balloon. And here is the, uh, it, here is the lake and it's flying at an altitude of 2,500 feet. So it sights the first edge of the lake with an angle of depression to be 30 degrees, and then it sights the other edge of the lake at an angle of depression to be 25 degrees. So can you find the width of the lake? So you basically have the double triangle problem. We'll first set up the red triangle. It's 2,500 feet. The angle of depression is 30, so that puts 30 degrees inside the triangle, and you can find that distance. So that would be that distance from the balloon to the front edge of the lake. So that's going to be the tangent ratio of 30 degrees is equal to 2,500 over x. You just switch diagonals. And your x value would be 2,500. I'm just going to do it on the calculator, divided by the tangent of 30. And I get 4,330 feet. Great. Now let's find the other. The other one, I'll do this in blue, just to be consistent. Now this is across to the other side lake. Remember, the lake was, you know, here the full width across the lake is going to be y, and this is 2,500, and the angle the of depression was 25 degrees, so that puts 25 degrees down here, and you would say the tangent of 25 degrees is equal to uh, 2,500, the opposite over the adjacent. And now y is equal to 2,500 divided by the tangent of 25. And I'll calculate that. And that's 5,361 feet. Okay, so now the distance across the lake is the subtraction of these two. So that would be um, 5,361 feet minus 4,330 feet. That would leave us with 1,031 feet for our distance across the lake. I hope this problem helps you. I know that this uh, is another variation of the balloon problem we did in class, but um, take a look at it. And this is the uh, problem that I want you to write up as well to prove that you watched the videos this weekend. Okay? I hope everything is going well, and uh, we have one more video to watch, and that would be the submarine problem, uh, number seven that you see below. So I'll be um, doing that video as another segment. Thank you, and goodbye.